Hello everyone. Welcome to the fast track to becoming a hyperledger cactus contributor breakout session. I'm not sure if you can see my camera or not because Hoppin just uh, showed some warning that says that you may not, but that's fine as long as you can see my screen share, we should be good. So what we will do today, I will demonstrate how to set up a development environment and uh, we'll sort of time travel through that process because certain commands actually can take up to half an hour if you are on a very, very slow computer. Uh, but you'll see how to do it from the beginning from Git clone all the way up to you being able to debug test cases that you wrote to verify that the cactus component or the change, the bug fix, the feature that you made actually works. And with that said, uh, there's a list of prerequisites that uh, I carry. So the prerequisites is to have Docker installed on your machine and Visual Studio Code and a specific extension pack for Visual Studio Code, which is called the Remote Development Extension Pack. And I've included links to all of these here so that if you're following along, then uh, you can just go through these links, download and install everything. And then uh, you should be ready to carry on with the rest of it as I will show it. And uh, there's a recommended read, which is optional. That's the bottom link that says dev containers. That just gives you a little background info on how developers work. The two sentence summary of it is that VS Code can uh, launch a container for you. A script will set the dependencies of the project, where the project here is Hyperledger Cactus. And then uh, in that container, you have a stable and reproducible build development environment, which is guaranteed to work. Of course, uh, nothing's ever guaranteed as uh, just the recent events demonstrated it, but it has a much, much higher probability of actually working versus you trying to install the build dependencies of the project uh, straight up onto your host operating system, whichever that may be. And then the other thing that I wanted to highlight, and I will continue highlighting this because it is very important for me to, for everyone to notice, is that we run daily pair programming sessions every weekday in uh, the morning hours of uh, Pacific time, West Coast. And uh, you can uh, get the details of that through our wiki page, which is linked there. The fine print sort of there is that these sessions have been canceled for today, tomorrow, and Thursday because of the Hyperledger Global Forum because it's uh, difficult to attend both at the same time. We're very, very busy with the conference itself. But other than that, come Friday, for example, or any other day after that, uh, you're most welcome to just drop into the, one of those calls, share your screen and say, hey, I have a problem. I either cannot get the build running or the compiler is telling me some error messages that are not making any sense whatsoever and we'll be happy to take a look at it and just try and figure it out together. So the actual setup, you would start with a git clone and uh, 
there's the project link for that. If, uh, if you struggle with this part, then I also recommend our pair programming sessions, but uh, I did not have enough time in the scope of this session to explain also the basics about how Git works. So that part is implied that you need to have Git installed on your computer and you need to be able to have access to a some sort where you can actually clone. And then uh, regarding our repository structure, just a really quick note, we have a mono repo, which means that instead of having a bunch of different Git repositories for every package that Cactus ships with, we have packages all embedded within the same Git repository, which sometimes makes it a little more confusing, but once you get to know it, it actually makes it much simpler to manage and uh, navigate. And uh, with that said, I wanted to show the dev containers in action. Basically, if you start up Visual Studio Code after having installed it, and then uh, you clone the Cactus repository, and then you open that folder with VS Code, then it will show you a pop-up that says, do you want to open this in a container? to which you should say yes, but uh, sometimes people miss that little dialogue. So I specifically wanted to start here from a state where it's already in progress and uh, the dialogue is not there. And I wanted to show that you can always hit F1, get to this uh, menu and then type container, I believe. That's just a little laggy. Uh, or maybe def container. Yes, so you can either hit this one, remote containers, explore volume in a development container. Yep. Or there's a to it that says open. which I'm not going to hit now because I already did before the session, then uh, you can basically just kick back and relax for a long time because it will pull up an entire fully functional development environment for you from scratch without you having to interact with it whatsoever. So that's uh, that's, that's yeah. added value that comes from uh, this, which at first seemingly probably looks like a little bit of an overhead. And so it is actually in progress on my machine right now. This is a live demo, but since it takes up to half an hour to complete, I'm not going to wait for that right now. Obviously, I'll just skip ahead to the part where it's already in a state of being. So this is a different window, but it's the same thing, it's the same repository. It's just that in this window, we are seeing the project in a state where it has already been finished. So this is where you will get after this is completed. And then once you're here, what you can do is uh, actually start making a change to the Caxi source code, becoming a contributor and uh, what I want to highlight there is this is about becoming a contributor, meaning changing the framework itself. This is not a tutorial on how to be application developer using Cactus. And it's important to emphasize this difference because it is orders of magnitude easier if you're uh, just looking at it from the application development perspective because then all you need to do is just install the right packages uh, via NPM into your project and uh, just use them as dependencies. And there's nothing else really for you to set up apart from that. 
So with that clarified, uh, I wanted to really quickly demonstrate the watch script that we have, which means that if you are standing in a terminal, we can run the NPM script called watch, uh, which will take a minute to run, but then ready. It actually is watching all in the project to see if they get any changes to them. And if you make a change to the source code, you can pile it. And then the changes will uh, get applied. And this is a great way to enhance your development work. If you are working, you're not exactly sure how to actually implement, then uh, it is great to have this fast iteration cycle. You can just blurt out some code that does something that you're not even sure maybe what it does. At least that's how I am most of the time. And then just see if it passes a test. It's uh, very convenient. And I think I just disconnected from the server, which is a bit annoying because in my demo, but uh, this is what you get if you're things and a lot of Try and describe the rest of it. I was going to start the watch script and then source code and demonstrate how a test is breaking because of that change. And then I would uh, fix it a few seconds later. I would re execute the test and you would see the test passing. And all that to say or that. If you have the right setup, which I'm trying to show right now, it is. Yeah, I think the video call and there is just too much for it. That's guess I can have it. But in the meantime, uh, does anyone have any questions? Uh, I'm not giving up on this. I still want to show that. It actually works the way I claim it does because it does. I do this every day. This is my act. Purple is a cactus me.
Let's just double check with this. doesn't work. I think I should need a point. So it's probably best if uh, we really just get out of the Q&A. And there's no question. No. Make that extra five. Uh, yeah. Let me have the data program. So, feel free to join. Definitely. Thanks. Bye.